Hello, Hoodoo Loves, it's Miss Avi again. All right, lots and lots of requests for this one, a seven day money working. Um, this is probably the very most popular work that people ask me to do for them. And so I wanted to make a tutorial for those of you who would like to know how to do it at home. So I am actually doing this one for myself, so I can kind of say the prayers for you. And I actually, I do about one of these for myself every two to three months because they just, it works. It's a really simple, straightforward little set of stuff. But <clears throat> one of the things that my friends tease me about and I think is kind of cool is when you work in the magical arts, you kind of have to make your stuff work. It's kind of kind of one of those things, you know, if you, you, you rely on your own work to be able to bring in new customers and new ideas and, and to be able to make that living, you have to rely on your own magic. So I am doing this one for me. So what I've got here is this nice big seven day candle. Um, I absolutely love these things, freestanding seven day candles. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description to where you can buy them from the little shop that I get them from. I haven't found them anywhere else for anything resembling a reasonable price. But <clears throat> what I've done here is I've just inscribed on this my name and the words receives X amount of money before this date. And then I'm just crossed it with my initials up and down the candle. So it's pretty simple what you need to do um, to write that on the candle. And I have already dressed it with oil, um, just praying over it in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. I bless this candle to bring me the amount of money that I have requested on or before the date that I have requested. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I have specifically used Cash Conjure Oil by Conjure Cardia. Um, and um, her uh, Gypsy Gold Oil, which I love this stuff, it smells phenomenal. And then also Cleo May Oil. Cleo May Oil is actually pretty cool because the formula is designed specifically for women who own businesses or who have to rely on themselves for income. So this is a, a good oil. Um, so that's what the candle is dressed with. It has been prayed over and blessed. I'm just gonna go ahead and fix it here to our plate. I ask that my guides and ancestors and angels would come to us today. Please come and support this work for me. Bring me the money that I ask for and the prosperity that I need. Okay, let me just get that more on the center of the plate there. Alrighty. So that's the first piece. Alright. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is add basil basil is some of my absolute favorite stuff oh those are kind of brown my absolute favorite stuff i love basil it is very good for prosperity um wealth money cash repayment of debt just about anything having to do with money or material goods basil can help you out so we're just going to in the name of the father and the son and of the holy ghost i bless this basil and enchant it to bring me the amount of money that i have asked for on or before the date that I have requested it. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm just gonna put that around. I like to kind of pull off some of the, the leaves here. And you know, I a lot of you guys, you, you already know, I have a kind of an obsession with making my work pretty. You do not have to make work pretty. I, I feel like, to me, when the work is beautiful, it lifts my spirits. It makes me feel closer to, closer to the spirits. You know, I, I just, I feel better about myself and my life when the work that I'm doing is beautiful. Okay, so we are also going to add here rose petals, right here, yellow. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless these rose petals to bring luck and prosperity into my life. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm just sprinkling them around here. Just kind of throwing them on there. That's pretty, pretty generous. You know, I have a lot of rose petals, but yellow roses are excellent for luck, excellent for wealth, and excellent also for likability, charisma, and friendship. So that's another thing you can use them for. And then lastly, just as an offering to my spirits, my guides, my ancestors, here are these yellow flowers all around the outside here. I'm just going to space that out a little more. 
And there we go. All right. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, O Lord, prosper me. Bring unto me the amount I request, by the date I request, through the avenue that I request. Bless me, and I shall be blessed. Hear me, and I shall be heard. Prosper me, and I shall be the envy of all thy children. In Jesus' name, amen. That is the prayer that I typically pray over these types of work. Now, one more thing that I like to do. I have incense here. This is a business and money incense. Um, a friend of mine actually makes this one and I am trying it out for her. So I have never lit this particular incense before. I want to see how I like it. And I'm supposed to give her a review and she's going to decide if she's going to start making it available for sale. Oh, that smells nice. Mm, it's very earthy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, I bless this incense to send up a prayer for the amount of money I have requested, to bring it in by the date I have requested, and through the avenue that I have requested. Let this incense go up and be a sweet and savory scent to the spirits, the ancestors, and the angels, to bring in the money that I have requested. Let it call with a sweet smell to the customers and clients and connections that will bring me the money and opportunities I have asked for. In Jesus' name, amen. And then I'm going to set that down here right in front. And last but not least, of course, we light the candle. Oh, here we go. Just getting that. And I, I do not typically trim my wicks. I probably ought to, but I, I just almost believe whatever candle I grab is the one that the spirits want me to have for that particular work. So that is the work right there. Beautiful thing. And um, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, go ahead and stick those down below. I'm always happy to answer questions. Uh, one more tip about this particular work. You can also, if you have it or would like to use it, rub a money powder on the outside of the candle, rubbing it into what you've carved in the candle. That's one really great way to use powders. Rub them into the carvings on the candles. Um, and um, you also, as far as herbs, um, you can use a few other things. For people who work um, through sales or through the telephone or the internet, mint is a good one to add because it is focused on communication. Um, for people who work in the sex and or entertainment industries, um, so singers, dancers, strippers, um, waitresses even, I would say to a certain extent, um, flowers that have to do with love and romance can be very, very helpful in bringing things in. And just one note for the gentleman in particular, I have noticed that when I do a seven day working for a man and specifically use sassafras, it seems to be particularly potent. I'm not really sure what the correlation is there. I haven't been able to discover any tradition about it, but sassafras seems to really hit home good for the gentleman. So <clears throat> ironically, ironically, money herbs appear to be more gender specific than love herbs are, which is just kind of kind of funny in today's society. So go ahead, give me feedback in the comments. I would absolutely love to hear from you. If you want to see more of my work, I'm on Facebook at facebook.com slash hoodoo delish. Working on a website currently, hoodoo delish.com. Not quite ready to go for you guys, but I'm hurrying as fast as I can. I just, I've got a perfectionism thing. It has to be exactly right, but I love you. Go ahead, reach out to me, like my page, subscribe, comment, share. I'm absolutely thrilled that I get to be doing this for you guys every day of my life. Six months ago, I never would have dreamed that I could get to do this for a full-time career, and I am so blessed. So thank you for making that possible. You are amazing people. I hope that your journey is a fantastic one, and I love you.